I have a superpower. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, who the heck is this cat in a cut off sleeve shirt doing a TED talk? <laughs> well, uh, the world is changing. I mean, obviously we're in my shop recording a TEDx talk and that kind of seems like a little bit of a silly thing to say because the world is always changing. In fact, uh, I have a toilet now, <laughs> which you, know, you would think I, that's an obvious thing. Everybody has a toilet. Well, I didn't always. When I was growing up, I didn't have a toilet. We had an outhouse, which we use in the summertime. In the wintertime, it was a five gallon bucket in a closet. And yes, that is as gross as it sounds, but it's what we did. We also didn't have electricity or running water. We didn't have televisions. And for a very long time, we didn't even have a phone. We ended up with like a three party line. Some of you remember what that is. But growing up that way was great for being a kid. You had to be creative for your entertainment. Now I did present some challenges. There was always work to be done. And in fact, there was a lot of work to be done. But when it came to really big jobs like raising barns or bailing hay or maybe cutting firewood for a family whose father was hurt, our community came together to, to help make those things happen. What I learned then was something very interesting, that everybody had something to share, something to teach, some knowledge to pass down. And that there was this feeling in the air when, a community, when our community came together that is undescribable. There's like, there was just an energy that I can't really describe very well. And I loved that energy, that aspect in the community and the sharing of knowledge. So yes, things have changed. And probably one of the biggest effects in change that we've seen in our world in the last 40, 50 years is the internet, which is what I do for a living, by the way. But I, I really wish I would have had the internet as a child. My dad, my dad taught me, or he had me convinced that uh, uh, boats being pulled down the road by a truck and when their motors are left in neutral, their, their propellers will spin. He had me convinced when I was a young man that that propeller was pushing the trailer and the truck down the road. It was the way they saved gas. Having the internet would have been handy back then for a little fact checking. So now, fast forward 40 years, and I have a five-year-old son who is proficient at the internet. He can't read or write that well yet, but he knows how to hit the little speaker button and you can hit, watch him walking around the living room going, Google, show me a chicken laying an egg. Or Google, what do dinosaurs eat? Or my favorite one is Google, do boats really push trucks down the road? <laughs> so times have changed. And now we have this tool where we can share not only with just the people in our community, but with the entire world. And that's what I do for a living. I'm a YouTuber. Uh, I've had some success on YouTube and it's been an interesting journey. I still remember the very first video I posted on YouTube. It was 2013, March 19th. And it was quite frankly, probably the worst video ever posted to YouTube. It was a single, single frame shot, pointed really low, talking in monotone about this sharpening jig I had made for a table saw blade. But something interesting happened. People asked questions and people commented on the video. And quite frankly, I was hooked. I was sharing information, things that I'd learned, things that I've uh, designed with everybody. Everybody had access to this. It wasn't just my neighbor or a kid down the street that happens to be interested in woodworking. So I'm involved in this community that's called a maker community. And that means I make stuff, for those of you who don't know what maker, what the maker community is about. And I focus on woodworking, and to tell you what I do might be a little bit difficult. So rather than doing that, I'm gonna show you, because I make videos. So here.
So all those things you just saw were made completely out of wood. Of course, there were some drills and a few mechanical devices, but for the most part, that was woodworking. Now, I do other stuff too. I, I build some jigs. I show folks how to get more out of their tools than they might otherwise be able to. Um, and I have a lot of fun doing it. But I build those kind of things because I want to inspire people that, and show them that they can do so much um, with woodworking or making. And I really want to inspire that at next generation. And I love building cabinets and chairs, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to get a five-year-old or a teenager in, interested in building a chair. Well, there's a few, but for the most part, builds like that are what are going to get people excited. And that makes me excited. So I've been on YouTube now for about eight years, just shy of eight years. I have um, three quarter of a million followers on YouTube, uh, 125,000 on Instagram, a few on Facebook, and I have my own social media app that I share information on as well. Uh, 100 million views, I just passed that, which is a pretty exciting number on YouTube, and across the board, almost a half a billion views. Now that's not a brag, it's, I just wanna show you that it's possible to affect a change in a lot of people and inspire a lot of people. There are some YouTubers that do that before breakfast. <laughs> Whenever I tell people that I'm a YouTuber and that I've had some success on YouTube, I always get that question, uh, how? How do I make it on YouTube? And while I don't think that's the right question, I do have an answer for it. It's an acronym. The acronym is you can. so U-C-A-N, and U stands for unique. Be, have your content be unique, be unique. And all that means is like, if you're a rhinoceros and a cache of rhinos, wear a pink tutu, you're gonna stand out. Um, watch where the crowd's going and then go the other way. That's the best way to stand out from a crowd. The second one is content. Content is important. In fact, I had someone from Google once tell me that the most important thing you can do is content. It doesn't have to be original content. It doesn't have to be earth shattering content. It has to be good content. Everybody has a unique view of something. Even if somebody else has done something before, your view is going to be unique to your experiences. So good content. A, think or speak with authority. So know the content that you're showing. If you're sharing something, really understand it and know it. Speak with authority. When you speak with authority, it draws people in. They believe you, they wanna, they wanna see more. So speak with authority. And the last one, N, is now. Do it now. It's that simple. You can talk about it all you want to, but until you take action, nothing's going to happen. So, <clears throat> so there's a lot of online communities that kind of evolved around the maker community. Um, it's not just one guy on YouTube. There's a lot of us that do builds, whether it's woodworking or 3D printing or crazy wild builds. There's quite a few of us that do it. And there's communities that have developed around there. Now, in those communities, there's people like my friend Andy Berkey, or my friend Joel Crawford, or my buddy Mike, who constantly post things, who are constantly inspiring other people who have affected positive change in lots of lives, but you'll, you won't see their names up on YouTube, and you're not gonna, they don't have 750,000 followers or a million and a half followers. But they've taken the time to share what they do. They share their experiences and share their knowledge and they've become pillars in these communities, in these offshoots, and they've affected positive change in a lot, of, in a lot of lives. I'm a lot of things. I'm not just a woodworker, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm, I'm an amateur engineer. Um, I'm a designer. I, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm an artist. I'm an okay grill master. <laughs> not the best, but okay. And I'm all these things not because I learned them traditionally through people around me locally or schools. I learned all these things because people just like yourselves took the time to share that information and knowledge. And I was interested and I connected with someone. And that's really what it's about. We're not gonna connect with everybody, but you will connect with somebody. And I searched people out that I connect with and they were sharing information and I was interested and that interest turned into a passion. And that happened because someone like yourself took the time 
to record and share their, their knowledge and information. So today, my big idea we're sharing is that your ideas are worth sharing.